Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to do a little pack up for my writing lesson video. I'm going to pack up everything for my writing lesson and I hope you enjoy it. Now let's get started. Okay, so this is my writing, this is my current writing bag right now. I really want to get a backpack, but blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is my writing bag as of today. Um, so yeah, that's my writing bag as of today. So I put everything in there and I put socks, belt, and gloves in here and blah, blah, blah. So let's get started. Um... It's currently October 19th, and it can be cold, but, like, it was cold a few weeks ago. There was some snow, but it finally melted. So it's it's actually been really, really nice outside for the past week or so. So it should be really nice out, hopefully, on Sunday, and today's Friday. So I'm at the barn all day on Sunday as I work there. Um... So hopefully it goes well, and hopefully it don't snow so I can ride outside. Um, anyway, so I'm bringing winter riding gloves just in case it's cold. Um, and I have these as they're fleecy on the outside. And not on the, they are on the inside too, but these are my non-winter riding gloves. They're just kind of normal ones. Um, my thin winter riding socks. I like to bring, since I have no idea what the weather's going to be, I'm going to bring winter ones too. I call them winter ones. Um, and I'm there all day and last time I was there, so fun little, st fun fact about this is last time I was at the barn, I got a hole in my gum boot, so it was leaking when I was in the mud and that was in one boot on, the, on my left boot and then on my right boot, it was leaking and I don't, I couldn't see a hole or a rip or nothing it just started leaking so i have no idea what happened there so thank goodness i had an extra pair of socks and an extra pair of boots but they were uggs so i couldn't use in the mud so i had to put on my gum boots and my soaking wet socks and go in the mud and then when i got out of the mud put my nice clean fluffy socks and uggs on so that actually turned out really really great so anyway i have an extra pair of socks but i'm getting a new pair of bugs today so i won't be leaking anymore and I still have to get a pair of hunter boots, which I might get tomorrow. We'll see. Um, anyway, so that's my riding belt that I'm going to pack in. That's everything that I pack in there. Um, I always like to bring an extra pair of socks. Just because in case that nightmare ever happens again. Um, so yeah. I have my extra pair of socks. So that's what I pack in there always. Right in there is my paddock boots. I have a pair of chaps um, in there, and I always bring two pairs. So I'm sure I'm going to use them, blah, blah, blah. So these are my thin pair that can get folded up and stuff, but the other pair can't. Anyway, I'm not even going to go there. So my riding vest. That's my riding vest, guys. Um, I have to get a new one since the zipper's kind of broken, but it still zips up, just there isn't that thing to hold on to when you zip it up. So I have to get a new one, but I have to find one. Um, there's a really cool jacket at my local pack shop, the brand. Um, it's a riding jacket that you can shove into a bag, like a little bag. Um, it's kind of thick, so which is really great. It's a hundred dollars and it's Ariat. Um... So yeah, I think about getting one of those. Okay, so my riding helmet, I haven't worn it once, and it's brand new. Um, in here is like my riding drawer, my riding jackets and stuff. So I'm gonna bring this riding one. It's a quarter zip or half zip, whatever you call it. So it's a pullover, pretty much. Which I will wear it under my vest if it's cold. I'm going to bring a black pair of breeches. And sometimes I wear breeches when I'm working. So that's those are my working ones. Since they will get really dirty. And these are my lesson ones. Which they won't get as dirty as the work ones. That's why the work ones are usually black. Um, and I will bring a polo shirt. Yeah. I'm actually going to bring two polo shirts, but whatevs. Um, 
yeah, so, I think, yeah, that's everything out of there. Alright, so, to save room, so I can fit everything, I'm gonna shove this in here. Why is that stuck, anyway? So, yeah, that's gonna get shoved in. I have to somehow fit all of this and those boots and that halter and that lead rope it's actually navy blue not black and this grooming thing into there it ain't gonna go well but i'm gonna try <laughs> anyway so my grooming bag equa essentials or equi equa whatever um and i'm bringing my br tendon boots they are red. Somebody thought they were pink. I was like, are you retarded? They are red. Genius. Anyway, so yeah. And these are the Fetlock boots. It's all one matching set. I have to get a red saddle pad to go with it, but I haven't yet. So yeah, that's lead rope. And since I ride a gelding, I ride a chestnut gelding, so I am going to... Use my blue lead rope, and not my pink one, which is hidden under there under a saddle pad. Um, so you have to somehow fit all this into there, which is going to be impossible. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here and try and shove everything into there, and I'll let you know how it goes, and we'll get back when it's finished. So I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so I just finished packing it, and I did not, I did not succeed whatever I can't talk anyway so that was an epic fail it did not fit into here so I had to face facts and that it was never going to get into here so I'm just going to throw that in there in my little lemon bag or have it separately or something so that's it it's pretty much packed full but on my normal riding lesson day if I'm not going to work I will have just one pair of breeches and I'll have a lot less stuff I won't have this pair of breeches, I won't have the other polo shirt, and I won't have my two pairs of chaps, and I'll have less socks, like, I'll have a lot less things in here. If I'm packing for my riding lesson, I usually pack it, like, an hour before I leave, so I know what the weather's gonna be like, so I'll just put one pair of breeches, one pair of socks, one blah, 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 like, one of everything. Um, so this is, like, a work slash riding lesson day, I guess, so I, d I have to pack more, um, since I'm there for pretty much the whole day, so... That's what I managed to fit in there. And on my riding lesson day, on my normal riding lesson day, I can fit a lot more stuff in here since uh, I, I'll have less stuff in here, so it's a lot easier. <laughs> Not like today. So yeah, I just had to face it that I never would get it in there. Great. I honestly forgot. <sighs> I have, and on my normal riding lesson day, I usually just fold up a saddle pad and shove it in there. I can easily fit everything because I have le less of other stuff so I can put more of this stuff in instead of having it all on the loose. Anyway, so on my last lesson I used that purple saddle pad so I'm going to use this black one and I'm riding a chestnut gelding so this honestly will look good on him and he will like it because he doesn't, I don't think a boy will like purple. Okay, so I threw that in there. Um, don't worry, this table's going so it'll be gone too. Um, uh, That's that. This I'm just gonna have to shove in there, or pack it separate. Um. Okay. Those are going. I'm going to put them away when the video's done. Since I'm not using them for this lesson. Um. Now this is my work bag. I have another teeny teeny bag of this that I put my lunch in. But I don't know where it went. I have, I th it should be under my bed, but I'm not sure. So I have to find it and pack my lunch in it. And then this will be my normal other thing. So I will end up putting my this water bottle in and stuff. But um, since I can't find it, I can't yet. So I like to bring earbuds. 
I'm getting another pair of gloves of those dirty, ugly things. Will not be used, but I will pack them just in case. Some glasses of granola bar, and I'm getting more granola bars, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I to kind of pack my sunglasses. I'm getting, I'm going to get, uh, like a cap soon. Like a baseball cap or a hat, whatever. Um, I like to fold these, so. Then I'll, it's good to put on hot, hotter summer days. It's nicer to, um, have stuff. Okay, I'm sorry, that did not make any sense. It's nicer to pack. I don't know. I'm not making any sense. I'm just gonna forget about that since I obviously can't talk anymore. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, if I could find my other bag, I could pack my lunch, but I'm not going to pack my lunch. So I do that last minute and stuff. So, um, I will probably post a video of me getting my new bogs. Um, Hope I'll, I probably will, but I'm not too sure. Um, so stay tuned for that. If I post it, it will be today or maybe tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much what I take to work, except or to be at the barn for the whole day. Except I pack my lunch and snacks and the water and hot chocolate. Um, and a jack. Oh, right. And I have to pack a jacket. So, this is my Nike running jacket. It's, um, somebody thought it was a riding coat until they saw the Nike thing. Anyway, so I guess they can't really see the Nike, Nike thing since I put it in the dryer and now it peels off. So I have to glue it back on. Anyway, it's perfect for riding because it's got, it's thin, it's cool, and it's windproof and bugproof. So, it goes up in here and it's kind of meshy, which is really great. Um, super thin, you can pull and stuff. And with the way the zippers are, you can have it zipped up and pull it at the same time. I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm currently zipping up the jacket. So you can see it's zipped up. This and then it's unzipped and it's actually that it's meant to be like that because it's got two zippers so I don't really get the point in it but if I'm riding and I'm sitting so if I'm sitting and I'm riding and I want this and I want my jacket zipped up then I can have this down so I can sit and it won't the jacket won't be like tight right here I think that's what it's meant for um, I'm not sure but it's actually meant for running not riding but that's I use it for riding also so yeah, that's my riding jacket. That I pretty much my riding jacket. Um So yeah. I have to pack that also. But I'm probably gonna leave it. You know, I don't know. Anyway, so that's gonna be packed and I'll pack a hoodie and you know, they got other thing. And money just in case I wanna go to the tax shop. Um Yeah. You heard nothing. I did not say I want to go I like to bring my money and go to the tax shop. No, I did not. You probably didn't hear it, but yeah, I, I tend to do that. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I will probably do another one of me packing for my actual riding lesson, so it won't be as much stuff. And it'll be a lot easier, and a lot smarter, and it won't be like, or smart. Smaller, and it probably won't be like 15 minutes long. Um, so yeah, that's how I pack. And if you want to see what's in my grooming tote, I just put up a video yesterday, I think, of what's in my grooming tote, or... It was called grooming, my grooming tote tour, or grooming tote tour, something like that. You'll see it if you subscribe, or no, you don't, bleh, bleh. you'll see it if you go to my channel, then you can search through all my videos, I've got quite a few up, um, I also have a Green Hawk Christmas wish list, um, if you want to check that out, it's pretty awesome, i show you what I want from Green Hawk, um, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other videos you want to see and if you like this and um, if you this was handy for you for what you should pack for your writing lesson and whatnot. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. 
and thumbs up and no rude comments and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my totally awesome epic videos um and yeah so i will get a new phone eventually so the filming will be a little bit better and as i do get more into youtube i will have my videos better since the more i do then the more i'll need and stuff so yeah um don't forget to like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up Boom! So don't forget to like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I also have a really funny video, it's called Jump With Me or something, and it's me doing human jumps, and it's like big horse jumps, um, I measured it, it was just over 3 feet, it's pretty awesome and funny, um, so if you want to see me and myself jumping 3 feet, or just over 3 feet or whatever, it's like up to my hips or something, it's pretty funny. Um, I was thinking of posting bloopers for it, so keep an eye out for that in case I post it. Just subscribe, I mean, that would be so much easier. And it's nice to show your support! Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up, and let me know that you like it so I know that it was good, and I can post more videos like it or something like that, and yeah, see ya!